Hello, middle school families. I hope this message finds you and your family healthy and doing well. I want to take a few minutes to share some thoughts and ideas as we start our synchronous remote learning. PRS has been working hard to build a remote learning program that will be exciting and engaging. Because of our teachers' ingenuity, much of what we normally do in the classroom will continue, although it will be delivered differently. The eight to three day of a student is now done at home with teachers and advisors frequently connecting with students digitally. Parents, you are now the adults most directly connected to students during the school day. And students will need some at home support in making good decisions and understanding what is expected. To be successful in this remote learning adventure, we, the students, teachers, and parents need to work together as a team. To help, we've collected some remote learning best practices and have included them in this guide for families. Let's get started. Students, you are going to need a consistent workspace that includes the furniture, technology, and internet you need to get work done. This includes a desk or table, a chair, a working laptop or computer, a printer, and reliable access to the internet. You will also need to know your schedule and to be able to manage your time and workload. This is easier said than done for some of us. You should have a copy of the remote learning schedule that was emailed to you, a phone or a clock to help you zoom to your classes on time, and a sense of what you need to do outside of the class time. Our PRS student planner, other planners, or digital calendars will work as long as you use them consistently. Hey parents, it's important to remember that students are used to being dropped off at eight and going through their daily schedule in classes, making hundreds of decisions throughout the day. Sure, they don't always make the right choices, but they need that freedom to make mistakes, to grow and to learn. In our remote learning experience, students will need support from you, but they'll also need the time and the space to have their independent experiences with teachers, classmates, and the curriculum. Finding that balance in your home will be very important to getting into a remote learning rhythm. Students, now more than ever, we'll all need a healthy balance between schoolwork and time to relax and have fun. This can be especially challenging in a remote learning environment. You need to try to identify what you need to do, how to prioritize your work, and then how to turn off school and focus on time for yourself. This can include activities that will help you relax, connect to people and things that inspire and motivate you, and make you happy or just make you laugh. Parents, in a normal school day, students are seen by many adults, including teachers, advisors, service learning facilitators, and coaches, all of whom know them and are invested in their well-being. These adults are always looking out for the bright, sunny eyes of the engaged, happy student, or the lowered head and slumping body language of a worried or disconnected student. Now that students are off campus, we all need to work together and to communicate when necessary to make sure they are having a healthy, constructive learning experience. Finally, as all of us know, this is a challenging time. It requires us, students, teachers, and parents to have a positive attitude and mindset and to be present, patient, and kind. That is how we'll build a healthy remote learning community experience. We, the PRS teachers, advisors, support team, and administrators are here to help your family in any way that we can. Please keep an eye out for more communications that will dig deeper into some of these topics soon. Stay healthy and laugh often. I look forward to your emails and calls.